Okay, we're here at 9325 Andersal Avenue here in uh, Northridge. Now, we're here to check the main sewer line. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house. You'll have your general inspector crawl underneath. What I can tell you is that when we looked under the house on the right-hand side, if you're facing the house from the street, underneath the house all looks like ABS plastic. But the general inspector is going to check all of that. What we can tell you is that we looked on Navigator Lab because we pushed the camera in from this 4-inch cleaner where the pipe exits the house on the right-hand side. And we've gone in 180 feet where we haven't even reached the city sewer yet. And basically, we had a look on the map. It goes out to Knapp Street. There is an easement uh, going through the property next door uh, that's on the corner of Knapp and Andersol Avenue. And that's where the sewer line goes through that property. So <coughs> we're unable to push the camera any further than this. There is another clean out that we'll try to run our camera. Hopefully we'll be able to get through. Okay, so let's bring the camera back. You can see there is, now the water is running a little bit. Now this all looks like ABS plastic. So this all looks good. It pretty much has been all ABS and probably polyethylene pipe possibly. Now you can see there is some water standing in the line here, but there's really, this is in the next door property. So there's really not much. I can't go on to the next property without their permission. However, it is all ABS plastic. And um, it is ABS plastic, so that's one good thing about it. Now, for sure, under no circumstances should you ever flush tampons, baby wipes, paper towels, things like that. The one good thing about it, it looks like probably a polyethylene pipe and ABS plastic. And really, I don't think you're going to be able to do much about the... Gr you know what? Stop over here. I want to see if we're by that other clean out. Like I said, you're not going to be able to do much about the grade because it's very limited. Okay, so we did locate that on the left-hand side of the house, there's a clean-out in the garage that we'll continue our inspection from. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it all the way out to the city sewer. Now, like I was mentioning about the grade, it, this might be, there may not be a sufficient grade because it's not very deep. And uh, you probably will need some periodic cleaning. It's very important that you don't flush these items that I said. Coming back here, you can see it's all ABS and it looks like a polyethylene pipe. So this obviously was replaced at some stage. However, the belly in the line is definitely in the next door property. And I don't really think there's really much you're going to be able to do about it. But we would have to get onto the property in order to able to locate. So we're going to bring the camera out. So once we're on this side of the house, I'm just going to jump up on the roof, run the camera down a roof fence so we could see what's going on underneath the foundation of the house. Here it comes out of this clean out over here uh, on the right hand side of the house. I'm going to pause the recording. Okay, so we're running the camera from the roof vent at furthest back of the house. And uh, we're pretty much all the way out to the front of the clean -out. It's all been ABS plastic, all in good condition. So there's the clean -out outside the house over here. And coming underneath the foundation and underneath the house, the main line is all ABS plastic, all in good condition. Is flowing very well. Obviously, the general inspector is running the water. Okay, it's coming back. Now it comes up the roof vent. Okay, I'm going to pause the recording. Okay, so we're running the camera from the clean out here. On the left-hand side of the house, you see we've gone 245 feet. 
until we've reached the city sewer on Kanap Avenue. So there's the city sewer right there. Uh, we're going to bring the camera back. There's the city sewer. We have the pipe coming back from the middle of the street. It's all clear, but there are roots in the pipe. At quite a lot of joints, there are, are roots in the line. Um, the camera went through, though. Hold on. Okay, so uh, we're going to keep con coming back. You see, it's all clay pipe, and you can see the roots as they along the way. Now, this sewer line is over 400 feet long. You can see at the couplings, you're going to see roots coming in. There, you see there. Again, but there's no way you're going to be able to clean these roots from this clean out here. So what we're going to do is when it comes onto the property, and I believe uh, that's probably where the belly is in the line, that we need to put another clean out there because you're supposed to have clean outs every 100 feet anyway. This is obviously going through the neighbor's property. This is where it's going to turn here. Uh, let's, let, let me get a location. Uh, you know what? Come back more. Come back. Right over here. Stop there. Okay, so there is a clean out over here. Uh, it's on the other side of the wall. Go to the back. So there is a cleaner, so you'd be able to most likely hide the jet from there. Coming back from here, this is what they did with a pipe burst, but you can see the pipe, a little bit of a belly in it, although it's not really that terrible. Um, I don't, there's really not much you're going to be able to do about that anyway because you've stuck with the grade whatever you've got here. Uh, however, it is it is a plastic pipe. Um, there's really not much you're going to be able to do about that. For sure, you should never flush tampons, baby wise paper towels, things like that. Um, you definitely, right over here, we're going to go ahead, pause the recording. All right, so we, we tried the roof vent over here in the front of the house on the left side. It doesn't go through. So that's about all we can inspect. Uh, we definitely will recommend a hydro jet over here. The sewer line is over 400 feet long. Uh, you're bound to have stoppages along the way, but you do have clean outs. You'll need hydro jetting periodically. We'll stop the recording over here.